Hello beautiful people, Manizumi here, and I'm back with a new video. It's been a long time, <laughs> I know. Well, because of certain events, I have a lot more free time. So I thought, hey, let's make a YouTube video. So if you read the title, you already know the gist of this video. The other day I saw a video of someone redesigning Marvel's new warrior characters, and I thought, what a fun idea. I love designing characters, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So, um, I'm sure you beautiful people already know about the, uh, controversy surrounding these characters, but if you don't, basically, Marvel released a batch of new heroes with, uh, questable names, abilities, and designs. So, we have Trailblazer, a plus-size hero whose superpower basically is Backpack from Dora, and then there's Screen Time, who is like a meme lord whose power is, well, he's, he's walking Google, I guess. Be negative, this dude is just like a vampire. Safe space, whose power is to make barriers and seals, but his powers only work if he's protecting someone else. And Snowflake, who can make ninja stars shaped like snowflakes out of ice. Snowflake, I believe, is also supposed to be Marvel's first non-binary um, non superhero. These characters are supposed to reflect the youth of today, and the youth of today have spoken and they hate them. Well, anywho, back to the topic at hand. As I stated before, I'm going to be redesigning Trailblazer today. I wanted to redesign her the most because I absolutely detest her outfit. It is so unattractive, which of course is solely my opinion. You may like her design and that's cool. I just don't, I really don't. She's a plus size girl and this design just makes her look so frumpy. Like you can have a plus size character and give her like a sleek, cool and stylish outfit. Her outfit is not doing her any favors, that's for sure. My own main character, Khadija from my store Celestial Valley is a plus size girl too. And I gave her an outfit that I think is cool and stylish and fits her, her body shape really, really well. I'm also not a fan of her color scheme. I dislike neon colors with a passion and I never use them in my own designs. A lot of people who I've seen redesign this character either made her slim or changed her color scheme and her outfit completely, but I gave myself a little bit of a challenge with this design. Um, I told myself, one, I would keep her original color scheme, two, I would keep her plus size, and three, I would try to keep some elements of her, uh, of her um, original design. So now on to the redesign. I forgot to hit record so I don't have footage of me quickly drawing in her skeleton. I drew in her body so I could design her new outfit on top of it. Like I said, I'm going to keep her plus size. I have um, experience drawing plus size body types, but I was failing so hard at this. I didn't do any warm up sketches before I started working on this. I was just so excited to start drawing so I had to warm up while I drew this. In her original design, her face is kind of thin for someone plus size, so I made her face more chubby. I kept her slightly slanted eyes and her full lips. Here I'm just cleaning up the sketch and making the lines a lot less chaotic. <laughs> So here is where I began designing. I wanted to keep her hoodie, that, that I knew, but I honestly didn't think too much beyond that. So there's going to be a lot of pauses in this video that you'll see, which is just me in real time just sitting at my desk trying to visualize how her outfit's going to look. At first I wanted to do a crop top hoodie, and I was stuck on that idea for a while. I also had no idea what I was to do for the bottom of her outfit so you'll see me try a few things. I had like an idea to do a, a short sh uh, sarong style skirt. I redrew it a bunch of different times and I could not make it work. I even tried doing like a, a, a long variation of a sarong skirt and I did this crisscross design that really stuck with me for a while. 
I don't end up using it on the skirt, but I added that crisscross design to the torso later on. like a hoodie dress. I later changed it to more of a uh, pinafore style dress. I thought a A-line pinafore dress would look flattering on her. I was completely lost on the gloves. I couldn't come up with anything so I kept them kind of plain. So I do this thing when I'm designing characters, if I don't like the direction an outfit is going, I will design something completely random, and then I will take what I like from each outfit and merge them into one. I usually end up liking what I create when I do it that way, and I ended up doing that here. I liked her hair, so I decided not to change it. Now for the colors, which was hard, because like I said before, I'm not a fan of them at all, but a part of the challenge to myself was to keep the color scheme. Those super saturated colors weren't working for me, so I took the hot pink and the neon blue and desaturated them a bit, which I think helped a lot. I wanted to keep the circle design that Trailblazer has on her sleeves, um, but I did change it up a bit. I also decided to make her legging shorter. So I took a break and I came back to the drawing and I thought the design looked way too busy, 
so I toned it down a bit. I also cleaned up the sketch and the colors. I wanted the sketch to look clean, and I thought about lining it, but I love line art, so that was gonna happen. So uh, during the break, I actually wanted to learn more about the character, so I went on the official website and I read about her, and the official website says that Trailblazer basically has a magic backpack, which is actually a pocket dimension with seemingly infinite space, from which she can pull out useful or random objects. It's not always under her control. She claims to get her power from God, but it's not the God you're thinking of. I, I don't understand why she's called Trailblazer. With a name like that, you would think she would have like fire powers or something? Anyway, I, I don't think having a portable pocket dimension is a terrible idea. I actually have a character with that ability. She has other things she can do, but I digress. So my character, Day, from my story, Day Fell, she's an adventurer and she carries a suitcase around with her, which has a pocket dimension which holds her workshop. Kind of like Newt from Fantastic Beast. But because of her name, I would change her power. Maybe she's able to open portals that lead to the sun. Maybe the portal acts like Moroku's wind tunnel and sucks in everything in front of her. And whatever gets sucked into the portal disintegrates in the sun. And here's my version of Trailblazer. I hope you guys like her. This was a lot of fun. So I think I will um, redesign more of the new warrior characters. I'm thinking I'm going to do Be Negative next because I I really dislike his outfit as well. Anyway, uh, you can find some more of my art on my Instagram. I have it up on screen and I'll also put it down in the description. Like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Also let me know in the comments what you think of my redesign. Alright, see you guys later.